Hi, my name's Paul and I live in Heidelberg Heights in Melbourne. Um, I don't have a car and I, I choose not to drive a car for environmental reasons, um, but I often have to go to meetings and visit different parts of Melbourne and for that I really rely on public transport. There's a number of bus networks that operate in my area, uh, which is good, but they only come every half an hour to every, every hour. And then there's uh, usually a pretty poor connection between the buses and the train services. No one else in my house uses public transport and I know quite a few people around the area that don't want to rely on public transport. Um, I think it's just a shame. I think we've um, lost faith in the public transport system. My name is Paul Mees. I'm a senior lecturer in transport planning at RMIT. Public transport in Melbourne is uh, among the worst run anywhere in the developed world. It currently costs five times as much in subsidies to run our system as it does to run the system in Zurich, which is bigger than ours and carries more passengers. In return for those subsidies, we get a third-rate service that isn't providing people with a real alternative to the car. Under a privatised public transport system, the first problem is that no one's ultimately in charge, so when things go wrong they're not fixed. All the best run public transport systems in the world extensively involve local communities in deciding things like where the stops will be, uh, which destinations need to be served, where the overcrowding is, what are the connections that aren't being met properly. Those are the kinds of things that you have to have the local community involved in to get done well. My name is Fung Lee and I convene the Moreland Bicycle Users Group. At the moment uh, we're trying to install a bicycle path along Glenroy railway line. We're also working with Moreland Council to develop a bicycle plan that will run for the next 10 years. These projects will create a more integrated network to encourage more people to ride their bicycles. Cycling is important because it's good for the environment, um, it's good for people's health and it's also good for the community. The Greens have a vision for Melbourne to become a city where people don't have to own a car just to get around. In order to do this, we've created a plan. As part of the plan, our public transport system will be publicly owned and operated. A public transport authority will be created to ensure the system takes people where they want to go, when they want to go. And more funding will be allocated to cyclist infrastructure to give people a viable alternative to the car. To find out more about the People Plan, please visit peopleplan.greens.org.au.